A modified Evans osteotomy is illustrated here. A longitudinal incision is centred on the senus tarsi. The perineal tendon sheath is reflected plantar and detached from the lateral wall of the calcaneus with resection of the perineal tubercle if required. The subtalar joint is identified. The interosseous ligament is controlled. The forceps is positioned posterior to the ligament and anterior to the posterior facet all the way to the medial side through the senus tarsi. Once forceps orientation is checked, it is used as a cutting guide. Bone cuts are completed with respect to the medial cortex, one can see the saw knocking on. The osteotomy site is opened with an osteotome bending the medial cortex until correction of the deformity is obtained. Appropriate opening wedge osteotomy is maintained with some sort of wedge positioned at the gisane angle. Here, a needle holder has been used to maintain the gap. One can use a quarter tubular plate or a utility plate with two to four holes depending on the stability required by the construct. 4.0 mm locking osteopenia screws can be very useful here. The gap is bone grafted or filled with bone substitute. Deformity correction efficiency is controlled on the medial side and soft tissue procedures are completed at this time. Wound closure is performed stitching the extensor retinaculum to the perineal sheath.